My name's Graham. I'm 48. I come from Southport. I've got two daughters, Tracy and Michelle. I've got secondary progressive MS. I got it about, about 25 years ago, but it only really came out about in the last seven or eight years. What used to happen to me is during the day I would fall over all the time because on my left foot I got what they call drop foot, which means I'm taking a stride and my foot hits the floor and I just used to fall over all the time. So at the end of the day I ended up in a wheelchair. My name is Hilary, I'm 43 years old, I'm married, I have two sons aged 11 and 9 uh, and a dog. I live in Orton, Lancashire and I was diagnosed with MS in 1993 after I got the, the drop foot and my fatigue got worse. I felt as though um, I was uncoordinated and I was sort of falling and tripping quite a lot. You know, I had to really concentrate from getting up to actually walking and looking straight ahead otherwise I'd I'd fall over and when I did get the response it was it was amazing it was like you know I hadn't been able to lift my foot for the past four or five years and all of a sudden it was flipping up and uh, it was like a party trick. The benefits to patients in using the ODFS are to help with muscle activity which can help with walking but you also find that there can be improvements in sensory awareness in the leg. It can also help with reducing swelling in the leg and reducing muscle spasticity but it all depends very much on the individual patient and what their goals for using it are as to how much benefit they get from it. Since I had the FES I've, I haven't fallen over. I've, had the occasional trip but I've always managed to write myself. Um, it, it has helped a lot because obviously my foot's being lifted so my, my toes aren't sort of catching on the ground as I walk. Uh, with the, the boys call it the mum's electric leg, it went from mum's wonky leg to mum's electric leg so it's obviously doing something good. So. The FES allows me to be like a normal person. Before the FES, I wasn't a normal person. I was in a wheelchair and people, you know, you had to look up to everybody. So when I got the FES, all of a sudden I could talk to people, I could look them in the eye. It gave me loads more confidence and the future looks a lot brighter. When my daughters get married, I can walk them down the aisle and just that in itself is just a fantastic thing to be able to do. I think for anybody that's given the opportunity to, uh, to use an FES or to try one out, I'd say go for it because um, there's no pain involved. It's a very quick procedure just to test it out and see if it suits you and it could make a hell of a difference to your life. For me, it's transformed my life, it's turned it round, it's back on track and my confidence has grown to what it used to be and I feel fantastic about that. The Odd Stop Drop Foot Stimulator is one of a range of devices designed to assist walking and other functions following stroke, multiple sclerosis, head injury, spastic paraparesis, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's disease and other conditions. To gain benefit from the Oddstock Drop Foot Stimulator, it's essential that the person receives an assessment and follow-up from a clinician who has completed the FES training course. Our general requirement is that a person can walk a minimum distance of 10 metres. The National Clinical Functional Electrical Stimulation Centre has been dedicated to the development of FES since the 1980s. The head of the design team, Dr. Paul Taylor's work, has enabled FES to be taken from the research arena into the clinical setting. Ongoing development of functional electrical stimulation continues at the National Clinical FES Centre with research to improve both the design of the stimulators and widening their clinical application. For information on how you can receive FES, please contact Oddstock Medical Limited 
at the National Clinical FES Centre.